Tara, you're in Howard Beach chasing a story. Uh, about two months ago, young Karina Vitrano was brutally murdered close to where you are. But recently, cops discovered a man naked, drunk, and somewhat out of his mind. I don't know if they're drawing a connection yet. What do you got? So I'm in Howard Beach, Queens, at the scene of that murder of the 30-year-old jogger, Karina Vitrano. That was on August 2nd. Multiple outlets on Wednesday are reporting that a crazed nude man was apprehended at around 11 p.m. Tuesday evening in the same vicinity where authorities found her body. Officers assigned to the patrol in the wooded area at the center of the unsolved murder reportedly encountered the man in the marsh yelling profanities. A police helicopter was sent to track the streaking man that neighbors reported being filthy and visibly disturbed. The man was taken into custody here at the 106th precinct and was at Jamaica Hospital Medical Center Wednesday undergoing a psychiatric evaluation. In regards to this incident, I reached out to the NYPD who said to me through a spokesperson that at this time they do not believe the man connected to this incident is connected to the murder. There has been no positive connection made between the Vitrano murder and the disturbed man at this point, Bill. No solid connections have really been made at all in the nearly two months following the rape and murder that took place here. And in a heart-wrenching development just two weeks ago, surveillance tape was released that depicted the last moments of Karina's life as she ran by on this street that I'm standing on now. So what has been done? Well, eight security cameras like those that caught her in her last moments have been installed at the entrance to and around Spring Creek Park and a GoFundMe page for a reward for information leading to an arrest has surpassed $280,000 as of Tuesday. Out of all places, why would he go to the place where a young girl was killed? It's been all over the news. He's making a statement. We just have to figure out what statement he's trying to make. Or any, uh, I mean, her parents have been incredibly vocal, particularly her father, uh, looking for information. He seems to have gotten into the investigation almost himself. Any, any thoughts from them? Have they said anything in relationship to this man that was apprehended on Tuesday night? No, they've actually been pretty, pretty quiet, Bill, uh, other than the fact that on Sunday, this past Sunday, they uh, participated in the Tunnel to Towers run. All right, keep us posted. Thanks, Tara.